Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Spyro Year of the Dragon. On the last episode, we headed off to the first world, uh, normal world in Midday Gardens, Icy Peak, which reminded me of home because everyone here talked like they were from Minnesota or Canada, either way. But we managed to get all the dragon eggs. We managed to get all the, all the gems. We chased a couple of thieves down on supercharged paths, got a skill point in that same room, uh, saved an uh, ice skater from the evil wraths of hockey, and yeah, met money bags again. So, on this episode, we're gonna be going through Enchanted Towers. This is the this is the level we had to unlock by shooting an egg into the target that was up there. And strangely enough, most of the things in this area I have to deal with shooting things out of my mouth. <laughs> totally could have been phrased better, but whatever. I already got gems, I just landed. Hello, miss. Those crummy Rhinox forced us to build a statue of the sorceress. Then after we built it, she complained it was too ugly. If you ask me, the statue is much prettier than she is. I like how I said miss. It's totally a guy. I take that. Right, so apparently there's a statue of the sorceress somewhere here. Those things. Hello, things. So, remember the... It was the one level in Spyro where there was like little dogs and little turtles. But if the light went out, they turn into like giant monstrosities. These are very similar. That's what they look like dormant, right there. That's what they look like active. Giant flying, grinning, evil things. The only way to kill them is to shoot them with things. Or just hit them, but this'll work too. Boom! And they basically just deflate. And then go back, and then yeah. But, I mean, they're very annoying to deal with if you don't get them on the first like hit. I meant you gotta arc these. Ooh. Thank you for that. Look how many there are in the sky. Oh boy. We'll deal with those guys later. Because we're gonna have to. There's like a little there's a little balloon up there. I have the hiccups. How'd that happen? Take that, take that. Might have been quicker to just, I don't know. Shoot fire at them. Like that guy. Ooh, that hammer was on its way down. All right, I want to go. I want to go one level, just one level, without having to worry about uh, gem counts. <laughs> Please. I mean, we we didn't have to worry that much about icy peak, which I think was strange because I should have reacted more to that since it was like the only time that's happened. Go away. So I don't want to be like. I'm missing two or five gems somewhere. Where could this possibly be? Look at this lone egg right here. Gladys. Aw, oh, she has a cold. Probably because she's in the middle of a... She's right above a bottomless pit. Do you think that? Oh, you're prepared. What are you? It doesn't look like a Rhinoc. Ooh, they gave me an egg here to prepare. Or a, a rock, I guess. It's not an egg. That's well, I'll eat that. Oh, 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 oh. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, I got him. Thank God. I totally thought that was going to miss. Are there stairs here? Not like it matters. I just need to glide over here. E oh, hoo -hoo. wind gust. Thank you. There's the statue. Anything else over here? The music just cut out. I hope that was deliberate. Okay, there, there it comes back. With that, so what that's gonna do is destroy part of the statue. Very simple. Easy to destroy part of the statue. Whoa, that was close. Alright, you should have swung then. And the 
problem is those other those weird monster things. I don't want to call them dragons because they're not dragons. They're not dragons. I'm a dragon. There goes the body. Man, that's loud. Huh. Alright, I see some more gems over here. Nope, that's another rocket. I almost didn't see the head blow up. Oops. I forgot I hid this egg inside the statue. I hope the explosion didn't hard boil it. Man, these voices do not match. Peanut. What happened to like, all the mystical names? Like all the other dragons in Spire the Dragon had. All right, I gotta get rid of these guys. They both get me weird and they are able to shoot fire out their mouths. Oh, I have, there's no chance I can hit them from here. <laughs> They're way too far away. Now let's get a little closer then. Oh, oops. Well, I fell down here. There's a, there's this thing right here. Can I go back up? You know, it's a door down here. Might as well t take this. Secret area. Ooh, it's the skate park. All right, well, first things first. We're gonna try and get all the gems here before uh, we talk with, before we talk with Hunter, just to make sure that we have everything here. So we don't have another Sunny Villa issue where we we're missing one gem somewhere and it happens to be in the skate park. So, just grab this so I can go places. Luckily, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't forced to talk with Hunter immediately. We got a balloon here. Let's jump. I'll take that. Thank you for picking it up, Sparks. Okay, then that. That's, the sound effects are kind of scaring me. Oh, this is very fast! Woo! I'm cruising right now. Sorry, I didn't need to do the I didn't need to do the trick, but whatever. It's getting a, a decent uh, tell on how just how far Sparks' range is at now. There's nothing behind there. There is a, there is something up here. Problem is, I still might not know if I have them all or not. Oh, I missed the barrel! Get back here, barrel! Uh oh. Alright, I see a path we could take here. Can we go down this way, just so I can build up some more speed. Alright, I have to hit these with the. Hit these. Yay! This barrel is, I think, the last thing I need to worry about. Whoa! Because I can't think of anything else I'm missing currently. Oh, hold on. There's a gem over there. And I think there's a ba. I think there's a... Ooh, ooh. Ooh, whoa! Yeah, there's a gem over there, too. How many spins was that? Man, if this was the point round, I'd be getting a lot of points now. We'll find out in a moment. I'll take that. All right, barrel, you're the last thing. All right, this barrel's gonna be weird. Is there any way for me to get off without crashing? I'll have to crash. Is there any way for me to, I went right back into it. No, oh, I got it, there we go. All right, I think I have them all here. So let's talk with, let's talk with Hunter. Isn't this the wildest skateboard park you've ever seen? Once you've mastered a few tricks, you can score huge points in this place. What do you say I show you some moves? Oh, you're gonna show me some? Of course. Let's start with something easy. You can jump off the end of ramps by pressing the X button. I'll show you how to do it once, then it's your turn. Oh man, if we wouldn't have had to do the point total in the last one, 
We totally wouldn't know how to do this. That looked like a jump. Okay, now try doing a roll. You can roll in midair by holding down the triangle button and steering left or right. Oh, he's basically, this is just a tutorial on how to learn how to do moves. <laughs> what a, what a perfect roll. Hey, nice roll. Now let's see you pull a flip. Flips are exactly like rolls, only you push up or down instead of left or right. Just jump off the ramp, hold down the triangle button, and push up or down on the directional pad. You know how to flip, too. One thing I don't understand is how Spyro manages to keep the skateboard underneath his feet. Oh, I landed it! Whoa, you must be a natural. Now let's see if you can pull off a half pipe spin move. The blue ramps are half pipes. You can do a spin move by jumping at the top of the blue ramp, then steering left or right in the air. Yeah, so if you jump on a blue ramp, that gives us like the we're going up in the air thing, not the we're going to go past it. All right, you nailed it. Now let's see if you can do a 900. Get as much height as you can, spin two and a half revolutions in the air, and land back on the ramp. Oh, this is when the 900 was all the rage. I mean, that looked so simple. Oh! Uh -oh. Yay! Now that was a 900. I have to admit, you've got some skills, Spyro. But before you get too cocky, let's see if you can score some real points on the giant ski ramp. Do whatever moves you want and see how many points you can get. So we need to score at least 500 points on the ramp. I think we have, I think we only have one chance. Let's see what he does. He does like a two and a half flips. This should be simple. <laughs> Is that beat 500? Wow, you learn really fast. Then again, you are being trained by a master boarder. Speaking of which, I was just practicing a nearly impossible new move that I call the Nasty Nork. I had almost pulled it off when I suddenly ran smack into this dragon egg and wiped out. Okay, I made that up, but you can have this egg. Hey, blaming the egg. Caroline. Well, that's I'm weird. thinking you're ready to try some one-on-one -on -one competition. Want to try a freestyle competition for points? You against me, huh? All right, let's go. All right, whoever scores the most points in the time limit wins. Okay, we have two minutes to do as many points as we can. So we're going to destroy him, and he'll never do anything ever again. All right, let's take this, because this is actually a secret right here. If I go on all three of these platforms, I automatically get a 1,000 points. Woo, that was close. Oh, I saw Jim! I saw you, you sneaky Jim. I'll go pick you up after this. But yeah, it's basically just us against him. We're gonna take advantage of this giant half pipe right here, or giant lift right here, and do as many absurd tricks as we possibly can. So he just did it. Oh, I did it four times. I only get it. I only get it once though. He's already at twenty-two hundred. What a jerk! At least we can see what he's doing as well. Let's try and go for the nasty Nork. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> that used to give me so many problems! I did it just like that! Basically what a nasty Nork is, it's the flip, followed by a couple of twists. Oh! Oh, what? Surely I touched the ground long enough. Look how many points we have, it's still going up. 
seven, eight, nine, ten thousand. 10,000. 10,000 is actually the course limit or the course record, so we've already beaten the course record. Uh-oh. I did a gulp. That's a that's a that's four rotations. I've learned what some of these moves are. He did the triple towers again. All right, let's try and do the other way. Crush is the other way. Orange crush is five. Ow. Crush and gulp were the bosses of Ripto's Rage, by the way. Those are not front flips. Don't give me 62 points for those. Whoa! I the can't room. believe it. How did you get so good already? <laughs> Who knows? Someday you might even break my course record. Nah. Anyway, I guess I should give you this other egg I found. I was going to keep it for a pet, but I can't get it to hatch. You're the worst, Hunter. Alex. All right, what's up with the bubbles? The last two dragons have both had get, both shout out bubbles. That one in a other spot. So its course record is a, is ten thousand, which we crushed there. <laughs> like we had twelve thousand before we did the gulp and crush, which gave us a lot. All right, there's this gem that was easily missable, or not easily missable, but easily missed by us. So let's spend two minutes trying to go for this course record. We already got we already got ten percent of it. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going up this ramp and then back up that jump we just did. Continuously. There we go, like that. Got the Nasty Nork, so that's 3,000 points. I almost... I tried to go for it again. I got the, I got the single... I got two single flips there. All right, back up here. Got another nasty Nork. Wow, I did not know how simple that was all of a sudden. Whoa. And it was not going fast enough there at all. Two twisted lemons. Let's do some twisted limes now since we can get. Oh, we can get a lot of points with a twisted lime. We're already halfway there. Woohoo! 4,900. I think that gave us just enough to do it. Oh, that double front flip almost missed that. All right, let's try and go for the gulp and the and the crush just to make sure we get them. Woo, big gulp. There we go. That's five rotations. One way. Crush is the other way. Ah, I got the orange crush as well. Oh, we destroyed the point total. Oh, we should probably go for the triple towers. There is a move other than the other than the nasty north, but I've never been able to do it. It involves it's something to do with Ripto. Apparently it's incredibly difficult. But I've never actually seen it being done. Woo! <laughs> Holy crap, he almost doubled the course record. And I was worried about the skate parks at the beginning of this run. We're a master of them now. Can easily pull up the nasty nork. Childhood dream achieved. Oh, but those things are still up here. You're having so much fun. We forgot that we have to do. We have to do this. Uh oh. All right, we missed. There's the door. Go away, sheep. God, oh, never mind. Fine. You live. You live this day. There's an entirely other section of this map we haven't been to yet. Oh, look at this. Hello, sir. I remember you from Skeltos Badlands. Take that. Take your bone as well. This portal is from the beginning. Let's go over here very quickly. There is a container over there that we can go break. Oh, there's a container right here we can go break. I heard another crunching so sound. There's another one of those, one of those pit fiends or whatever around here. Pit fiend? This is D and D. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I forgot that these guys will, as they attack you, will start losing energy to the point where they'll revert back to their, like, small mode. There you are. 
Thank you for the bone. Also a platform over here with a bunch of gems on it. And another another bite. Oh. We'll just fly over here then. Grab all those. He's actually up there? The problem is. It's gonna be very hard for us to reach that. We'll find a way. Goodbye. Let's go get. Before we head over there, there's one thing I want to go get. Whoop. Dodge that. Dodge that. See, he's getting smaller. Take that. Oh, thank you for the gem. We're getting that over there. Oh, I missed. Not that time. All right, I think I saw a purple gem fall off the side. There we go. I know those are. I know those paths that they take when they explode out of the thing aren't random. <laughs> Otherwise, gems can totally fall off the side of cliffs. Oh, I tried to go from gust to gust there. There we go. Right, now we fly this way. Oh, look at all the unconscious ones over here. Oh, did I kill that? I, I got that one. Ow. Nope. Leave me alone. Oh, he's like, I'm so defenseless. Don't kill me. I'm getting just far, far enough away that I can't hit them. Ow. Got that guy. Ow! Back here. There you go. There's still the one over here. I think you just took off because I scared him so bad. It's over here. Ooh, a wind gust. I think there was a door over here. Otherwise, it was just this. No, it's totally that. Excuse me. Ah, oh, hello. It's like that. There's three of you. And I'm afraid. There's a bottomless pit right next to me. Oh! oh! I haven't died yet. Ooh, Sergeant Bird. He's here. Oh, well, let's go through this secret area first. All right, I don't, I don't want to, I don't know if you're a guy or not, because you all look, I mean, you all have ponytails and pink and purple. You have, like, the manliest voices ever. I was playing catch with my pet wolf, Farley, but I accidentally threw his ball down this hole, and he went in after it. Now he's stuck down there. I feel so helpless, sitting up here, listening to his steadily softening whimpers. Don't cry, wolf. Never cry, wolf. Oh, that's so sad. All right, well, let's help. We'll help you. Don't worry. Down we go. And there's the... Oh, look at the cute little wolf. He wants us to play fetch with his ball. I mean, we could just be very, very cruel and go back up the wind gust right here without him, since he's too heavy to go up the wind gust. But what? Uh, we'll be kinder than that. I'll take this. Follow me. So here we need to learn how to deal with... Are you following me? We need to learn how to control this guy. So, let's see. If I stand on this button... No. I'm going to have him be on this button then. Over here, friend. Thank you for that. He's going to activate the button, and I can activate this one. And it's one door. Luckily for me, he likes to, he scares these people. Which means they're, they're not gonna attack me as long as he's around. He just wants to play high, or play catch. Play high, <laughs> he just wants to say hi. But that last one was for Sparks. Bark, bark! Oh, you're so cruel. He just wants to play. All right, I have to be careful there, because it's on the edge of a cliff. All right, he wants to play catch. Okay, we'll do that. So if we're gonna stand on this button here, 
And then we're gonna shoot this across. Hopefully. There. Because he needs that platform to jump over to get to the other side. We don't need it, so... Yeah, we'll just fly over. We have wings. He does not. Although he scares all the Rhinox, and the Rhinox apparently aren't scared of us. Which they should be, because we're Spyro. We're awesome. Just making sure that everything here is perfectly fine. What's this do? That... I see. Alright, let's go right here. I'm gonna shoot you onto that platform. Oh! That wasn't on the platform at all! Get over there! I didn't make it. I'll take that back. Alright, this time. This time. Get on the platform! Oh, I could have timed that totally better. All right, he's up here now. That's fine. Problem is, uh, I can't get on that platform unless he's on it, so. I need you to get off the button. Just for now. As long as you're on that button. All right, go over there. That lowers that. I'll take this ball. And I'm going to stand on this platform here. And I'm going to do a blind shot to hopefully get back on that button. I'm assuming that was correct since it kind of arced itself. There we go. No, oh, but he got off this button so I can't fly over there. Silly puppy. Oh, I wonder if the person can hear the dog's barks. Or wolf. Pet wolf. Oh, we're not home yet. He dropped his ball. Go get, go get your ball, Wolfie. There you go. Hey, you found Farley. How can I ever thank you? I mean, I could give you this old egg, but Farley's been chewing on it, and it's kind of slimy. Oh, well. It's the thought that counts, right? Liss. Lice? I know how to pronounce that name. But we got that dragon egg. Alright, we have a couple more things left to do. We still have a lot of gems to get. Uh, there's a guy up there. That we should probably go talk to very quickly. Once we get the opportunity to get up here. Uh-oh. Okay, I tried to jump there. Take that. I'll take your two gems. <laughs> Hello again! Haven't seen you in a while. Spyro! Are you on vacation too? I was having a lovely time with my friend until the lava toads stole all his bones again. I'd ask you to help, but some of the toads are hiding at the top of the tallest towers, and I don't think you can fly that high. Thank you for that. Yeah, unfortunately his bony friend here got some of his bones stolen again. Back from Skeletos Badlands. And by highest towers, he means like that one, that one back there, the, these ones right here. So, we're gonna go enlist in some help. But first, we're gonna get you. Because we can actually get you. That missed! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we're gonna enlist in some help here. This sheep. Just to get sparks up to blue. Then, we're gonna enlist some help with Sergeant Bird here. I'm ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter of the islands whenever you want me to. Yes, sir. No, I'm off duty. It's good to be back in action. There goes Sergeant Bird. So this is one of the few times where both Spyro and Sergeant Bird will use the same map. So, yeah, we're basically in the same map. We're going to get all these balloons that we could have gotten as Spyro with, you know, shooting the rocks at them. But that's very inaccurate, and it's just simpler to shoot them in the air with... with 
Sergeant Burge's missiles. Same for these guys. Talk, I just turned it to nothing. Surprisingly, I did not get a gem from that guy. Which is weird. Alright, I know there's a guy down here patrolling underneath this bridge. There you are. I should totally be getting gems from these guys. Oh, there's one. I hope I didn't just break the game. <laughs> because I should have gotten two gems there. There it is, finally. It just took a while. But we did get the guy in there. So let's head over here quickly. We could not have reached this ledge with, Sp with Spiral unless you, like, do speedrunning strats. Take that, stupid toad. Hold on, before we do that. Get the, get the bone and the... Well, that was weird. Get the bone and the bo and the gem. There's that one. Don't lock onto the one that died. I like how that one landed in the lava. Or whatever it is. <laughs> weird colored lava. Take that, stupid fire toad. Six of them now. All right, we have a lot. Let's, you know what? Let's go on a killing spree. Uh, that sounded weird. Uh, yeah, we're going to destroy all these weird dragon things. Goodbye. I'll take that. I missed. All right, I'm hoping for the best now. Please. Like I mentioned before, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see... I want to make sure we get all of the gems without having to look for any of them that, are, that we're missing, obviously. Like, oh, you can't find that one? Oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> and I cry inside. No way. There you go. Seven. As soon as we grab that last one, we're going to be teleported back. So we should probably time it properly with having, you know, all the gems at least. We'll explore more of this. There's another There's another ledge right here. Kind of. Oh, God, camera. I wonder if Sergeant Bird could, like, fall down into the bottomless pit since he can fly. That's something I should not test out. There goes that one. He flew in a weird direction. Ooh, there's a bunch of goodies up here. And a life, too. Take that, Sparks. 27 lives. I'm doing good. No lives lost so far? I just heard, heard a chomping noise. What was that? Oh, that's the... That's the stupid... That's the stupid thing. I hear him. Get back here. Woo! I'm under fire! There we go. 28.75. Oh, I don't like the sound of this. Uh, I don't like this at all. I might be missing something somewhere. Unless they're all in here. Nope, that's where, uh... That's where I emerged as... Spyro. There should be a... Oh, there's a gem. Here's a couple gems. Oh, that helps a bit. 2879. I'm still missing, like... I'm missing 21 gems, apparently. And the, and the chopping noises were coming from this building over here. <gasps> oh, this is only, like, 12, though. Or 14. <laughs> oh, no. I can't kill him yet. I need to find... I don't want to go back yet. I need to find it. If it's in the stupid skate park, I'm going to be upset. If it's anywhere... Oh, no. Where... Where it's... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hello up here. Get him. Goodbye. Take those two gems. I mean, we're left with five. There's a purple gem here somewhere. Hmm. 
Now I'm just looking for a shimmer. Any sign that it's, it's here or around here. I don't see any shimmers. Which means one of two things. Either it's either in the in the skate park or it's in the dog area. Wolf area. Either way, I'm I, I'm missing five again! I can't go in the I can't go in the park, is it? Uh you know what? I'll just uh I'll just I'll just finish off the bone quest at least. Who knows? Maybe I'll find it somewhere. I get hit in one of these rooms on accident. What I've seen so far, that's not the case. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you're in here. I'll take that. Here, have this. I was going to keep it as a souvenir, but I don't have room in my luggage. Ralph. <laughs> oh, poor Ralph. My friend is feeling much better now. Oh no, he started his bone dance again. <laughs> Thank you for that. We have all the eggs. Now we have the quest to find the missing purple gem somewhere. So let's go revert back to back to Spyro, and I'm going to go. I'm going to do one quick thing. I'm ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter. No, I'm off duty. I'll be here when you need me. Thank you, Sergeant Bird. Uh, <laughs> now I gotta find the missing. I'm gonna go in here first because it's closer. And because it, my hopes and dreams will be dashed if it's in the skate park. So let's just go around here again. Search every nook and cranny of this place. See if there's a missing purple gem here anywhere. Don't tell me I have to go through this place with the dog again. Oh no, he's already... He's unlocking everything as we go along, apparently. Here, nothing right there. If it's not here, it's at the skate park. Yes, sir. Five hundred out of five hundred. It wasn't the skate park, thank God. But it was here, unfortunately. In a, in a barrel I easily missed. Oh, well, we got it. That's all that matters now. Please tell me I'm going to make this jump. Ooh, it was close. And we're done. It only took us almost 40 minutes. Holy crap, this is a long level. It didn't help that we got lost. It had to go find another missing gem that always happens. I cannot wait to get that Sparks power up. That's going to be a while away from here. So... That's gonna do it for this episode. At least we got 100% in that area with no needing to backtrack there later on. So we're gonna be heading off to the next destination, which is right up, right over here by Hunter. In that, in this one area, Spooky Swamp. Ooh, spooky. So, until next time.
Hopefully you enjoy.